Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to show you, well I am going to show you around our RV. This is going to be our RV tour and sort of how we live and organize an RV for two adults, a 10 month old and a dog. So I'm firstly going to start at the back of the RV and this is where the bedroom is. So I am just standing in the living room right now and as you come in, this is the bedroom and this is where Ava sleeps she has her pack and play now that she is 10 months old first two trips that we did with her she was three months and four months old so she slept in her bassinet which actually fit up there um, that we're currently using as a laundry basket unfortunately I can't really hide that and I'm using two pillows to block off the light from that window um, so that she can sort of sleep in the dark it doesn't look very nice and you'll see some other parts of the RV that don't look very nice but that serve a really good purpose. <laughs> but this is where Ava sleeps for her naps and for nighttime. and then in here we have a queen size bed. Right now the slide is out when you're driving this side actually fully touches the bed um, but obviously we are parked, we are hooked up so the slide is all the way out so this is as big as the bedroom gets and it's actually really spacious um, when you don't have a pack and play sort of blocking everything. When I'm going to take you around here there's a really big window here which lets in a lot of light and then we have all this storage above the bed that we use for clothing and all that sort of stuff. We then have a nice long wardrobe there and then a mirrored wardrobe here which just has clothes in um, and then this is Ava's sort of section right here right at the foot of the bed um, now she does go to bed before us so uh, we have to very very quietly just sort of sneak past so we can get to bed but it's quite nice that there is this separator it obviously also blocks out some of the light because this is the bathroom so before you get to the bedroom this is the bathroom area and this is the shower and it has a very very bright skylight in it great for if you don't have a baby who's trying to sleep in the middle of the day um, but we have a blackout curtain that is blocking all the light from the shower I just sort of moved it to the side and then up here there's also a fan that we just put a um, like a black bin over because like I said she's trying to sleep right there and this isn't a door it's just um, like a fabric it serves a purpose and it, it does work quite well but it's obviously not like a blackout door fully so we have these ugly things covering all the light but it works really really well and over here we have our mirror which has storage behind it for all of our toiletries um, nice big mirror to get ready in hand towel and then a nice sink the sink isn't in very good condition but this RV is 20 years old we obviously bought it used and the sink does need to be replaced which we hope to do at some point um, we then have more storage under the sink and then if I come over here you're probably wondering where the toilet is and the toilet is in this room right here so this is our cute little toilet Yep, love showing you guys a toilet. This, like I said, it actually closes to over here. Um, I'm actually just going to show you. So these pop off and then it has to close around her pack and play. Just trying to close that. And that's what it looks like when it's closed. It's obviously not meant to be bent, but because it has to go around the pack and play. Um, it works really well, but obviously there isn't too much space to then open the bathroom door. But it does create a sort of barrier between her and the rest of the RV. Well, the rest of the bathroom, anyway. And then over here is the shower like I just showed you. It is a really nice big shower. Um, right now it has Ava's little baby pool in it, um, which we use to actually bath her in. It works really, really well. But it's a full standing shower. Um, nothing special, but it does serve a really good purpose. Every single part of this RV is so well made. Like, the storage that this RV has is incredible. Um, so this is the shower. And then over on this side, you have some more storage. And we keep our bin here. It's just strapped in for when we're driving. But in here, we have some bigger jackets. And then our broom and our Swiffer wet jet. And then in those two drawers is just more cleaning products and then in this top one we have washing machine stuff <laughs> and I'll show you the washing machine in a second washing machine um, toilet roll and then some toiletries and spare towels um, here and then in here is the best part of this RV 
and it is a washing machine and a dryer and it's absolutely incredible i just can't open that side right now because of the bin um but it is a washing machine which is so great when you have a baby and you're traveling for a long time with a baby but there is another door here so if you had people in the living room you could then turn this and you wouldn't have to close that one so you would have sort of like a master bedroom um, with access to the bedroom and the bathroom um, closed off from everyone else when Ava's sleeping we like to close that one and then we will also close this one as well which is really nice so as you come out of the bedroom bathroom area this is the RV you will have to sort of ignore the baby stuff you know it just sort of gets everywhere I did try to tidy up as best I could but on the right hand side this is the kitchen and then you have the fridge which is right next to the washing machine a fridge and a freezer which is perfect um, you also have a full oven and then um, stove top which is under here which is all gas and then you have your microwave right here you literally could live in this thing it's like a small apartment it is amazing and just a little bit of um, background this RV is 37 foot so it is a class A motorhome which means um, that it's like a full RV because that's obviously where you drive right there it's not a trailer but on this side of the RV you have your dining area Ava's high chair right there with all her stuff um, I usually sit it on top of the table while she's eating because it's just cleaner but that is what we use for her to eat inside the RV. There's not many more months she'll be able to fit in it. So we'll see what happens after that. But then you have all the storage above the sitting area as well. Um, this sofa pulls out and becomes a bed. Great for if you have guests. And on this side is obviously the rest of the kitchen. More. You saw me organizing these in one of my previous videos. But all of our pots and pans. Plates. Fully functioning sink with of course dirty dishes and bottles <laughs> I'm about to make lunch which is why there's all, all this stuff up here and then this is sort of I guess you could call it um, the pantry and that just pulls out and has all sorts of foody stuff in there and then that's just our little bin for while we're in here and then as you come to the front obviously this living room slide is out as well usually that edge right there would come all the way to here um, so you would be able to drive um, but it's, it slides out all the way making a really really big living room it's incredible so we have Ava's little play area right here so here is steps that go down but because we now have a crawling baby um, Ada made this thing it's just a piece of wood and we stapled a bath mat to it so now she has um, no risk of falling down the stairs it completely flattens it out which is great and then over here we just have the seats the cockpit I guess you could call it um, obviously the curtains are closed the curtains are closed right now just to keep um, the Sun out and keep the RV cool and just for some privacy as well Ava's car seat usually goes on this chair right here this chair is locked in the forward position um, while we are driving um, but she completely gets strapped into there, rear facing as you would in a car so she is perfectly safe <laughs> perfectly safe while we're driving and then Ada drives and I sit here but this is pretty much how we get by with a baby in an RV it works really well like I said it's it's huge when you're in here it you know you don't feel like you are cramped or anything like that you have loads of space she has lots of freedom to crawl around and the best thing is is that it doesn't take me very long to clean pretty much it for this video um, I hope you guys liked it and found it interesting if you did but give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video bye